guys, my name is Elise. Welcome back to another week with the Foundry Kids and welcome to week four of our February series called Road Rules. In this series, we have been talking about respect and what it means to show respect and we're talking about people who deserve our respect and today we are talking about how much God deserves our respect and so I'm really excited to share a lesson with you guys today but before we do that we're gonna stand up and sing a song Our story today comes from the book of Matthew and today we are talking about a time when Jesus did a miracle. Jesus healed somebody in this story and we're talking about a time when a Roman centurion, so he was like a Roman soldier but he was like up there in the levels of being a soldier. He was like what we would call a general or a captain or a lieutenant, something like that where they're like high up in the ranks and we're talking about a time a Roman centurion had a lot of faith in Jesus. So let's learn more about our lesson today. Time for the story before the story. Today we're in Matthew, the first book in the New Testament. But before Matthew, in the very beginning, out of a deep, deep love, God made an amazing world. But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to draw people back into relationship. So at the right time, God sent a tiny baby to be born in the small town of Bethlehem, God's very own son, Jesus. When Jesus grew up, he began to travel from town to town, teaching and healing. And the town of Capernaum was like his home base. Everyone there knew about him. Not just the Jewish people, but the Romans too. Which is where our story starts. We're ready. Hey everyone, 
I'm Erica. Hey, Erica. Now, one of those Romans who knew about Jesus was a Roman centurion. This man was important. He commanded at least 100 soldiers who did exactly as ordered with no question. Forward, march! And, oh, you there. Get me a fig and walnut sandwich at once. Yes, sir. With extra goat cheese. Right away, sir. The centurion was used to being obeyed, but though he was stern, he was also a kind man. He cared about the soldiers under his command and the servants who worked for him. One day, one of the centurion's servants became desperately ill. The man was so sick he couldn't even move. The centurion may have called for the best doctors, but no one could help the man. So, the centurion did the unexpected. He went to a Jewish rabbi, Jesus, and begged for help. Lord, my servant lies at home and can't move. He's suffering terribly. Shall I come and heal him? Now you have to understand, going to the home of a non-Jewish person would make Jesus unclean. It was completely against Jewish custom, but Jesus cared more about the sick man than what people might say. It turned out the centurion did not ask Jesus to come to his home. Instead, he said, Lord, I am not good enough to have you come into my house. But just say the word and my servant will be healed. I, I myself am a man under authority. And I have soldiers who obey my orders. I tell this one go and he goes. I tell that one come and he comes. The centurion knew exactly how true authority works. He knew that when he gave a command, he spoke with the power of the Roman emperor and it would be carried out instantly. And he believed that Jesus's power and authority were so great that all Jesus had to do was speak a word from anywhere and the servant would be healed. And you know what? The centurion was right. Jesus turned to the crowd around him and said, what I'm about to tell you is true. In Israel, I have not found anyone whose faith is so strong. Jesus made it clear that anyone who has faith can be a part of God's kingdom, not just people who come from the right background. Then Jesus turned to the centurion and spoke the very word the man had hoped to hear. Go, it will be done just as you believed it would. Filled with joy, the centurion raced home. And sure enough, his servant ran out to greet him completely whole and healed, just as Jesus had said. The end. Wow, I mean like remote control healing? The centurion really got it. He had respect for Jesus as the final authority. So what's our part in the story? Well, like we've seen, God can do the impossible with a single word. God is all powerful and all loving. That means God deserves our ultimate respect. God is most important. Our lives are full of all kinds of things, good things, but our time and attention should go to God first. You can talk to God throughout the day, in the morning when you get up, or when you're waiting for the bus or in the car, or when you're at the lunch table or at dinner with your family, right before you're about to go to bed. No matter what you face, whether it's a friend who's sick or a tough math test, God is the one who can give you the strength and patience and peace you need to get through your day. When you make a habit of putting God first, you can do anything. I think you got it. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, Bye Erica. <laughs> The Roman centurion had faith in Jesus, and this is one of the ways we can show respect to God. Last week we talked about making time for Jesus and how that's important in showing respect, but this week we're talking about how believing that God is who God says he is and who Jesus is who he says he is and having that faith in God is another way to show respect 
to God. And so I hope that you guys can have faith just like the Roman centurion did. And I hope that you will practice showing respect to God because God definitely deserves our faith and respect because God is so strong and loving and he loves us so much. Now, before we go, we've got our memory verse for the month. We're going to have a new memory verse next week. So our memory verse this month was Luke chapter 6, verse 31, and it says, Do to others what you would have them do to you. So I hope that you guys have uh, liked learning about respect this month, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.